Hey guys, it's Decker in here. In today's video, we got a new OBS plugin for multi-streaming that's gonna change into the game for how everything's done. And I'm gonna quickly just say this, all my past multi-stream videos might become obsolete just because how good this plugin is, because it does everything you need for multi-streaming all in one place after one download which is absolutely insane. And I wanna show you guys it here today, so let's get right into it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a link down below to this web page here for Atom's new plugin, the Stream Suit plugin for OBS Studio. And this thing is like the best plugin to get everything you need for multi-streaming, whether it be a multi-chat for watching all of your chat messages coming from Kick, Twitch, and YouTube, and on top of it too, a multi-alert feed too to get the alerts. So let's say somebody subs on actually YouTube, you can see the sub from Kick, you can see a sub from Twitch, you can pretty much see every single alert with actually this plugin. And there's a lot more of this plugin. Me personally, for me, I'm using this plugin for one reason alone, is that you're able to switch the title, your category, and the game you're streaming on OBS Studio. Because with the old plugins for OBS for multi-streaming, you would have to go to the actual web pages in themselves to actually change everything individually, which is a complete drag. So this plugin, it just makes it a little bit easier than multi-stream. Plus, the features from it too are absolutely amazing. So if you want to download this as far as yourself, all you have to do is click download the stream suit for OBS 32. It's going to take a second to download. Once it downloads, you're going to get this little pop up here. So you can see it here, I'm going to download it in my download folder. And then once it's downloaded, I'm going to open my file explorer, go to downloads, and I'm just going to quickly install this onto my computer. Now, when you do install this for OBS, I will give you a fair warning. There's a lot that goes on after you install this. So we're just going to run this like so for the time being. And then with that, we're going to have it installed. So now once you open up OBS Studio with this plugin, you're going to get absolutely absolutely flashbanged because there is so much going on with this plugin it's actually ridiculous so i want to go over everything you need to know so first of all if you go to your top left you'll have access to the docs you'll see you have a ton of new things like a new chat activity feed stream info portal and some other stuff i would recommend disabling all these except for the actual chat because the chat will allow you to log into the platforms you primarily want to get your feed from. So you can see right here, here's access to Twitch, here's access to YouTube, and here's access to Kick. So what you're gonna to need to do is log into these individually. Now, once you log into the plugin with all your platforms, you're gonna get access to the chat and the chat thing's gonna have three icons with three different eyes. So first of all, it'll show you actually how many views you have while live. And on top of it too, allow you to actually see your messages coming in from those platforms once you're logged into them. But keep in mind, if you are logged in, you have to go live in order to actually have access to the messages and even respond to them. So that's an important thing to keep in mind. Now, if you wanna actually do some more stuff, you can go back into the actual docs. And once you go back in the docs, you get access to a few new things. So the big thing here is the activity feed and stream info. The activity feed will show you the most recent activity alerts you've gotten from different platforms. So you can see here, since we logged into YouTube, you can now see my subscriptions from my YouTube channel and also follows from actually Twitch. And this also does work for Kick as well, except I don't stream on Kick that often anymore, but you would get follows here as well. Another thing, if you go back in docs, you can actually get stream info. So let's say hypothetical, you want to go live to YouTube, Twitch, and Kick but you don't want to go to each and every platform to switch the info. You can literally manually switch it here. So you can say, maybe what I'm doing today, I'm doing some Apex rank grind, and that's gonna be my title on my stream, but you can customize this to make it more nice if you want to. You can also add tags and stuff, and then you can select your category for what game you're stream. So since I'm gonna do Apex, I'm gonna do Apex for actually Twitch, and then same thing for gaming for YouTube, and same for, for Kick. And then once I'm good, all I have to do is save all. Now an important thing to keep in mind, you do need to go live first to YouTube before you actually, you save all effects to YouTube. So when you go live again to YouTube and everything, just make sure to click save all again, because it's only gonna work when YouTube's live. So you can see now when I go to Kick here at my home dash, my actual title has changed for my stream and also the category. And it's actually the same thing for actually Twitch too. If I go to Twitch, you can see the title has changed and also the category, which is really nice. So this is a pretty cool feature about this actual plugin. And that's the main reason why I particularly downloaded it. I'll probably keep everything else though, just because everything else in this plugin is so nice that this just makes it so much easier to change your stream title. Now, the only unfortunate thing about this actual plugin, it doesn't have TikTok support right now for live streaming because if it had that, this plugin would be so much better. Just imagine you could log in your TikTok and then of course, set up your title and stuff like that, set where you want to stream to and stuff because 
that's the only thing it's missing. It's missing some other platforms you can stream to too. But I feel like the current platforms it has right now are the big three everyone's streaming to, which is YouTube, Twitch, and Kick. And keep in mind, this plugin is in beta, so it's not like the most stable thing ever. Like a great example is when I downloaded this plugin and installed it, I had to load up OBS, OBS crashed. Then I reopened up OBS again and ran it in normal mode because it was acting weird and now it works. So if it doesn't work on the first time you load OBS, try again, it'll work the second time around. That's what I've at least noticed. And the same thing happened on my other PC back here when I was setting up for that. So there are some bugs with it currently. You can do some more stuff with this plugin too, combining it with the Atom Vertical plugin to do some crazy stuff for multi-streaming, especially with the multi-streaming plugin on top of it. Because how I'm personally gonna use this is that I'm using three plugins for OBS. First of all, I'm using this new Atom Stream Suite plugin. So that way I can see my actual chats. I can actually see my multi alert feed for all the notifications I get for my streams. And also that I can switch the titles and the actual categories for actually streaming, which is, that is a bliss. That is so much bliss and saves so much time for me going to different platforms and stuff. So that's probably the best thing about this actual plugin. And the second thing I'm doing is combining the vertical plugin. So when I actually start streaming, I'm using Atom Vertical to go to the stream on YouTube for the shorts feed, which is really nice. And then I have my normal horizontal feed with the third plugin I'm using, the multi-stream plugin. They multi-stream to YouTube, Twitch, and Kick, and then the vertical plugin to the YouTube shorts feed. So if you have all three of these plugins, dude, this is a recipe for absolute perfection for multi-streaming. Like it's actually insane how good this actually is. That's how I'm currently using it. Um, so yeah, if you want more of those plugins, I'll have two more videos right here for you guys, but 10 and 10, definitely recommend watching them because with this plugin, this is definitely a change in the game and how multi-streaming has now worked. And honestly, I'm looking forward to it. If you guys enjoyed today's video though, make sure to smash the like button, get subscribed to some future tech content, and I'll see you for one tech rant out.